Sunday morning in a forest in Estonia, but this is no recreational walk in the woods. And our company is at the moment doing uh, medevac uh, procedures because we have some casualties. Drones buzzing overhead, assault rifles and heavy weapons in their hands. For these Estonian civilians, it's not just a war game. They're training to protect their homes and their homeland. Today's adversary, played by a unit from the French Foreign Legion, part of the NATO presence in the country. We're impressed by the ability they have. They're civilians who are giving up their weekends, who are giving up their time to train in combat skills and learn about defending their rear positions. The exercise pits 100 Estonian civilians against the force of professional French soldiers. Facing blank rounds and an intense assault, the Estonian forces are eventually overwhelmed. Indeed, with a standing army of only 5,000 professional soldiers, faced with a hostile force many times larger, Estonia has no choice but to rely on auxiliaries in case of invasion. The Estonian Defence League can count on 30,000 of these highly motivated volunteers. Uh, we have to defend our families. We saw, we saw what happened in Ukraine, so we have to be ready. I have four children. Uh, it's a weekend. Normal people would be spending their uh, weekends with their children doing something else, but uh, we are doing this because we have to, because uh, of our uh, not so nice neighbor to the east. Estonia still holds bitter memories of the Russian and Soviet occupations of the 20th century, this monument bearing the names of the thousands of civilian deportees from that era, sharing a 330 kilometer long border with Russia and with a large ethnically Russian population, the question of its security dominates the political debate, meaning Estonia, ahead of the European elections, is counting more than ever on its Western, NATO and European allies to guarantee its security. Well, in this sense, the impact is direct, uh, that the issue number one, issue number two, issue number three in the campaign, it is about Estonian and European security. So Estonian's proposal is, and I think it's a good one, that uh, from the European Union country's GDP, everybody allocates 0.25% to defense of Ukraine, and Ukraine will be able to win the war. Because the alternative is much more expensive for Europe than to help right now. While Estonia's political parties agree on the need for unity in the face of the Russian threat, the main points of division during the European elections are focused on the EU's Green Deal and the Estonian economy.